Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans and welcome as I log on to the first time since I created it, the incredible, strange but true, unbelievably rushed, impossible Town Hall 12. So we are going to take a look at this for the first time together. I did this actually in a Facebook live stream. So again, if you want to see this stuff happen live, make sure you stop by fb.gg slash real Galadon gaming. But okay, so when we left this account, I had gone from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 12 in a stream in like an hour. It was about an hour and 15 minutes. And when we left it, it was shielded. It had zero trophies. I bought 10 days worth of shield and just forgot about the account for a few days, right? So this is what has happened. I log on for the very first time and I've gained 1,063 trophies on defense. So we went from zero to 1063 with this incredible base. So apparently this base is solid. It gained me a thousand trophies. I don't know why Legend League players aren't using this base setup. If it gained me a thousand, if it gained them a thousand, they'd be the best in the world, right? Okay, so yeah. But realistically, this account is strange because I own the heroes, but they're not deployed. Somehow we got around the rules, the alleged rules of you must deploy everything before you go to the next town hall, right? Everything else, as far as defenses and buildings, we had to, but the heroes, we were able to get around that. Now, clan games, it sure would be nice to get those clan game rewards. Unfortunately, I'm in this terrible clan called Just Galadon, and these guys, man, a bunch of, oh wait, Free gem box. Okay. A bunch of bozos. They they have gotten no rewards whatsoever in clan games. So we need to go and find a clan where we can, you know, basically, okay, yeah, mooch. We need to go mooch the clan game rewards before the clan games end. Now, if, wait a minute. Do you, do you guys see what I see? Do you notice what's going on here? Do you see my three inferno? That's not... This is, that's not supposed to happen. This is absolutely not supposed to happen. I have a broken, a broke Ferno. That is a broke Ferno, hashtag broke Ferno in the comments, all right? So yeah, I don't know what happened right here, you guys. Honestly, uh, remember, everything's supposed to reload when you log on, and this Inferno Tower, it's funny, it's just one, no really different than the others, um, is misbehaving, is acting strangely, and uh, is definitely, most definitely broken. Uh, for right now. Uh, you'll also notice, of course, that it says unplaced buildings, king, queen, warden. Yeah, so gotta love it. I do love going out into global trolling and saying, where are my heroes? And letting people freak out when they actually bother to go look at the base. First of all, of course, it's kind of painful to look at, right? Town Hall 12 in the middle of all that level one stuff. But then second of all, they look around for the heroes. They never find them. And uh, it is puzzling. Now, the question is, where do I go from here? All right, as we try to figure out what's wrong with this Inferno Tower, now let me click. No, that's not the wall. That's not the... Hold on. Let's move this stuff out of the way. I wonder if we click on... If I actually just click on the Inferno Tower, that it will reload itself. Let's see. If we just click on it and select it... Nope. Nope. There's my level one Inferno Tower. Um, and uh, maybe if we moved it around, I'd see. The other ones are fine. It's just this one. It's It's... It's peculiar, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a special package purchase, and I got the discounted Inferno Tower, and it came with, you know, a really bad pilot light, or something like that. You know, it's possible. Sometimes, you know, the pilot light will go out, and then the whole flaming thing just stops. Uh, I don't know. Either way, uh, it's unique, right? That's the first time I have ever seen that, and, I mean, generally, you're not supposed to see those unloaded anymore unless you log on and you find a dead base, right? Then you could possibly see that, but you shouldn't ever see that in your own home village. So we will try to figure that out. But in the meantime, as we try to figure out what is wrong with this Inferno Tower, I want to hear your suggestions for this account. What should we do with it? And no, I'm not going to give it away. That's a violation of Supercell's Terms of Service. So you guys, again, you know, don't talk about buying, selling, trading accounts. Don't do that. It is a violation and you will lose your accounts. Okay. So we're going to do something fun with this account. And I would imagine it has to do with not using heroes, uh, whether it be try to fix that rush without heroes, uh, see how many trophies we can get without using heroes. Uh, but remember, this is going to be a long process and it's entirely possible that this may be the sequel to Gemfix Farm Max That Rush as the first account gets completed eventually, someday. Okay, we moved the Inferno Tower and that didn't work either, by the way. So you can see we moved it, that didn't reload it, 
And at this point, we're just going to give up and we're going to move on. Uh, but I think that's probably what we'll do. Gem Fix Farm, Max That Rush, Part 2, where we take this account and try to do it without touching the heroes at all. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to pop on over to Tribe Gaming. The fine folks at Tribe were kind enough to let me pop in and visit and try to mooch on some clan games rewards. So we run over here. Now we are in Tribe. And, uh, well, I... I Probably not going to donate any level 1 troops to these guys. That would probably get me kicked pretty quickly. But I just wanted to stop by and show them my No Heroes account. And now we are going to fix the Inferno Tower. Now, if you're ever wondering how to do that, you just take the Inferno Tower and you move it away from everything else. You just move it out to the side like this. And then, boom, it's... Okay, it's, it's, it's not fixed, but... All right, well, it's been long enough that we played with the broken Inferno Tower. I'm pretty sure I knew how to fix this at the time. It had to just be some sort of login glitch type of thing. So let's put it back where it belongs. And then we're just going to force quit the app real quick. That is definitely going to fix it, I think. So double tap, swipe, and we close Clash. We also close Royale. I probably rage quit recently or something like that. So here we go. We'll just boot it back up. And I'm sure that it will be fine. And sure enough, there it is. All right, so now we have three unbroken Inferno Towers. They are impressive. I know, I know you wish you could have a base like this as well. And actually, technically, you can just go watch the video about how I made it and you can make your own. But I will warn you that it was about 300 bucks to get to this point in an hour. All right, so let's go ahead and check out Clan Games. And here's the problem about Clan Games. Because so many players are in Tribe, there is a limit. Even though there was room to get into the clan, apparently the maximum number of players had already participated in clan games and then that means the maximum number will be receiving rewards. We were not allowed to start a challenge and uh, you can see the message right there. So RIP, not able to mooch off tribe, but you know what? My good buddy Michael R from Base Sweeper said, hey man, come on over, hang out with us, bro. So bro, bruh, of course, we are headed over to Base sweepers and uh, we've got an invite right here from black dragon 372 here we are we're now a member of the clan they also are a very active clan they maxed out their clan games but the difference is they did it with less than 50 players so they've got room for moochers like me so all we have to do is pop in and now we just have to complete one challenge within the next nine hours and 28 minutes and we will be qualified to collect all of those juicy rewards for this incredibly rushed uh, Town Hall 12. So now we just have to decide which one. Hey, attack with no heroes, that would be pretty easy, except for the fact that I have level one barbarians and level one minions and nothing else. So we went with versus battles and uh, we have not, of course, um, okay, we haven't even explored the other side. So let's go ahead and rebuild the boat. And of course we gem it, right? Come on, come on. you gotta spend that gem. I mean, you're not a real gemmer unless you gem the boat for one gem. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and skip through the rigmarole of the tutorial and get right down to the battles. And if you want a little secret about how if you're a brand new Builder Hall noob and you want to beat the other Builder Hall noobs, just do this. That's about it. Okay, you just join those two walls so that there's not a gap between the walls. That's all we really had to do. The rest of this, we're just going to move some stuff around so that there's not an open pathway to the Builder Hall. You'll see by those spaces, we can close those off. Wait, that's not quite closed off. We would have to move one more space in, but okay, wait, there we go. All right, so now, wait, behind us. Uh, there we go. All right, so the, now there's not an open shot just to come right at my Builder Hall. Uh, and also, you can't just snipe my cannon and take the cannon out. And that is the key to winning early Builder Hall versus battles. Okay, so we go into our very first as a brand new Builder Hall, and you'll see, of course, we run into, well, just about the default base. They've done a little bit, but they didn't close the gap. They didn't close that little open gap to the only defense in the game at that level, so it's easy enough to take that out, and then we'll fast forward through as we grab the rest of this three star, and then it's just a matter of rinse, repeat, and we will have the clan games rewards. So there's win number one, the easy three star. Wait a minute. Wait for it. That's right. That's right. Cause we closed the gap ourselves. Therefore barbs couldn't do the trick. Attack number two. Oh wait. Okay. So this guy did another little trick and that is he moved the cannon over here. So we tried dropping the barbs on top of the camp. They got to the camp. They tried to get to the cannon and well, 
we got two buildings down. Now you'll notice I got two buildings down. I got 29% damage. My opponent, you ready for this? Just because we moved those walls, that's right. Once again, 15%, they got one building and uh, RIP. On the third attempt, we did find another default base with a nice little opening right there, dropping the four barbarians. And once the cannon is down, it's the same story all over again. We go and we grab the three star. So that's a simple tip for winning early Builder Hall battles. Look, my opponent's already watching. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I'm guessing 15%. Let me guess. 15%? What do you guys think? 15%. And... Ho, oh, 15%. All right, so that's it. We've got the Clan Games reward. We completed one solitary challenge. Thank you guys again, Michael and Base Sweepers, for killing it for me. There we go. Nine hours and 22 minutes left, and we will get to reap the rewards. And, uh, yeah. All right, a Rune of Dark Elixir. I, I, I guess we could use that to upgrade Dark Elixir troops if we're not using it on the heroes, right? I mean, it's possible. Again, I want to hear your input but i'm kind of leaning towards that upgrading everything else gem fix farm max that rush with you know a little bit of gems spent but we're not going to place the heroes and we'll see how far we can get with it and maybe someday it'll be a maxed out 12 or a maxed out 13 with no heroes whatsoever or maybe supercell will change it and force me to put them down you never know I, it's one of those things the base will probably stand the way it is uh, but we are going to go ahead and make the upgrades Two things like the barracks, the lab, the spell factories. We're going to work on those. We're gradually going to work their way up. Uh, for now, without having to use any gems or buy any extra uh, resources because we had all of those packages. Uh, so we'll get those working. We do have the five builders. Unlocking hog riders already. Let's go. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll probably need to upgrade the clan castle as well. And then eventually, of course, the defenses. But again, I'm looking for your input what you guys think would be most interesting, most entertaining to do with this No Heroes account. So yeah, this is my favorite base to leave up. I'm terrible at spelling No Heroes. If somebody wants to make a Town Hall 12 base that has a link that you could send me on Twitter or something or on Discord, I would really appreciate it because my skill with walls to letters is low. Okay, that's just not a talent that I've ever developed. Uh, an artist, I am not. So I'm trying to say no heroes. And because, hey, like I said, one of my favorite things to do is to pop into global and say, hey, has anyone seen my heroes? And be like a confused noob that has no idea where his heroes could have gone and just let people marvel at the creation that is my amazing Town Hall 12, seemingly impossible base with now the fixed Inferno Tower. So again, I am looking for your input. You collectively, the viewers, let me know what you think you would enjoy watching in a series using this account. And who knows, it could be the next fun series on Galadon Gaming. As always, I appreciate your input. I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for hanging out all the way to the end of the episode. You are the true hashtag Galafam. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you. And that's all of you. Yes, you. Back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Strange but true. It well describes your place and it well describes you. <laughs>